Hey everyone, in this video, we remember some celebrities who died on this day, November 10th, and in the recent last few days. Please comment below and subscribe to our channel to help us grow our family with you. Jack Palance, born on February 18, 1919, and died on November 10, 2006. Jack Palance was a famous American actor. He was nominated for two Academy Awards for his parts in Sudden Fear and Shane, and won the third for his appearance in City Slickers. Nearly 40 years later, because of his reputation for playing tough guys and villains. In the film Panic in the Streets, he had his first acting appearance. He also hosted the ABC show Ripley's Believe It or Not. It took Palance until his third picture, the Joan Crawford drama Sudden Fear, to earn a co-starring role. He was nominated for an Academy Award in the Best Supporting Actor category. Palance passed away at his daughter Holly's house in California on November 10, 2006. Ray Guy, born on December 22, 1949, and died on November 3, 2022. William Ray Guy, an American football player, was a punter for the NFL's Los Angeles Raiders in 1972 as a senior with the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Guy was named to the first team of all Americans, and in 1973, he became the first pure punter to be selected in the first round of the NFL draft, when the Oakland Raiders picked him with the 23rd overall pick. During his time with the Raiders, he won three Super Bowls. During 2014, Guy was inducted into both the College Football Hall of Fame and the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Having been named to the All-Pro team eight times, Guy is largely regarded as the best punter in NFL history. He entered the Hall of Fame on August 2, 2014, making history as the first punter to ever be inducted. Guy passed away on November 3, 2022, at the age of 72, after a protracted illness. He was buried in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Dwayne Hickman, born on May 18, 1934, and died on January 9, 2022. American actor, TV executive, producer, and director Dwayne Bernard Hickman also had a brief recording career as a singer and worked as a CBS executive. In the 1950s, Hickman starred on The Bob Cummings Show as Chuck McDonald, Bob Collins' girl-crazy teenage nephew. In the 1960s, he played the lead role on The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis. Daryl Hickman's younger sibling, he shared the screen alongside him on several occasions. After he retired, he started doing portraits for people. As Chuck on The Bob Cummings Show, which he starred in from 1955 until 1959, Hickman rose to prominence. He was currently a student at Loyola Marymount University. As one of the show's earliest breakout stars, Hickman was a major attraction. The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, which starred Hickman, premiered in 1959 and ran until 1963. On January 9, 2022, Hickman passed away in Los Angeles from Parkinson's disease complications. Lorraine Day, born on October 13, 1920, and died on November 10, 2007. Lorraine Day was an American actress, radio and TV commentator, and she used to be a contract star for Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. During her time as a leading lady, she had many well-known on-screen relationships with actors like Robert Mitchum, Lana Turner, Cary Grant, Ronald Reagan, Kirk Douglas, and John Wayne. In addition to her long career in movies and TV shows, she also did theatre, hosted her own radio and TV shows, and wrote two books. The nickname The First Lady of Baseball was bestowed upon her after she became deeply involved in her husband, Leo Durocha's baseball career after their marriage. The foreign correspondent, My Son, Journey for Margaret, Mr. Lucky, The Locket, and the Dr. Kildare movie are among her best-known works. She passed away in Evans, Utah, at the home of her daughter Gigi Bell on November 10, 2007, of causes that have yet to be determined. Chuck Connors, born on April 10, 1921, and died on November 10, 1992. Chuck Connors, 
whose real name was Kevin Joseph Aloysius Connors, was an American professional baseball and basketball player, writer and actor. Only 13 other players in the history of American professional sports can say they have competed in both Major League Baseball with the Brooklyn Dodgers and Chicago Cubs and the National Basketball Association with the Boston Celtics. His five years as Lucas McCain on the popular ABC series, The Rifleman are the highlight of his 40-year film and TV career. In the 1955 episode, Flight to the North, Connors played a rare humorous role on the adventures of Superman. He took on the role of Sylvester Superman, a tall, uncultured guy with the same name as the show's protagonist. Connors received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on July 18, 1984. The 71-year-old Connors passed away from lung cancer at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles on November 10, 1992. Thank you for watching our video and remembering those celebrities who have passed. Feel free to share your thoughts on which famous person is your personal favorite. Please subscribe to our channel to continue receiving videos like this and becoming a member of our family.